don't forget chargers. Make it a good day or not, the choice is yours. Be kind to one another and don't forget to smile. At Veterans Memorial Early College High School, we have a very positive climate where we do everything we can to support each and every individual student that we serve. Brownsville is one of the poorest communities in the nation, so we serve many of the poorest students in the nation. We are right on the border of Mexico, and if you look right in our backyard, you will see the border wall right there. My parents live in Mexico. I get to see them every weekend. A Friday after school, I cross the bridge, and on Sunday night, I have to sleep around eight just because I have to wake up at four in the morning to wait for two hours in line. Being at Veterans helped me a lot. It's my home away from home. Many of our students here at Veterans take so many dual enrollment classes that they sometimes actually earn their associate's degree by the time they graduate from Veterans High School. Many of them have so many classes that they advance and they skip their freshman year of college and they're considered sophomores when they enter college. Dual enrollment courses are classes offered at my high school. Professors come to the school for us to gain college credit from. And I've been taking college credit or dual enrollment courses since freshman year. I have over 30 hours of college credit. They have students from our local community college and they guide us through the whole process, applying to colleges and with our financial aid. They help us keep track of our scores that we need to send or anything in particular. During the first semester, since there were so many deadlines, honestly, I was there all the time because they just know what you need to do. It's made my college adventure like so much easier. Every child is our child. We treat them as our very own. We have to understand them in order to make sure that we provide the best opportunity, the best environment, and that we help them emotionally to be prepared to be successful in the classroom, therefore in college. Before, I would never show up to class. I would rarely come to school, and I would rarely even be awake in class. I get more into the work now because the teachers are pushing me to do my work and they're pushing me to be somebody in life. They know their students, they call us by their names and like if I ever need, if I ever like get here late to school, they, like, the principals look out for me and they bring me like a snack or something so that I could pay attention in class and I don't lose focus. My pathway is welding. I really want to become a welder because I want to look out for my brothers and my mom. My first AP class is U.S. History, and that's my favorite class, actually, because, I mean, I get to learn about the past, and I'm taking AP classes so that when I get to college, my GPA is higher. I'm going to be an example to my brothers, and I'm going to show them. At the end of the day, it's just you and your education. I'm so excited for college. I received a scholarship. I received over $96,000 to attend UT Austin, and I plan to major in civil engineering. Tengo otro